Okay, in this lesson, we are going to show you how to connect up a rheostat correctly in a lab. This is a lab rheostat. The lab rheostat is labeled A, B, C, D, which are the connecting points. So, to cut the long story short, to connect at point A and point C. So, you have a wire, you just connect over here, and another wire, you just connect over here. This is the correct way of doing it. Just remember that uh, generally it's diagonal. If you want to increase the real step, just push the slider towards the right. So you just push the slider towards right, it's increasing resistance. And likewise, if you want to decrease resistance, you just push the slider towards the left. If you want zero resistance, push the slider all the way to the left until you the metal contact of the uh, slider connect on the left silvery surface over here. Alternatively, you can also connect point B and D. So you can just connect a wire that's on the metal here. Okay, or and you connect over here, D. So you have two wires and then you connect to a other components. Still diagonal. However, in this case, if you want to increase the resistance of real set, you will have to push the slider towards the left. And if you want the uh, resistance to be zero, uh, you have to reduce the resistance and you have to push the slider to the right in this case. A common mistake of students is to connect uh, two wires. They see two connection points, they just connect uh, the real step by doing something like this which is actually of course wrong because when you move the slider uh, left or right it doesn't matter because the resistance remains the same at the maximum resistance so actually why does this happen or how does the real step work taking connection at point A and C so you have something like this you connect two wires. Based on the slider position, the resistance length is shown as shown. So this is the resistance wire uh, that is relevant. So over here, the wire is connected over here, and then you have the wire, the resistance wire. And what will happen is the current will flow through here and to the cut wire uh, to the through out through this wire. However, if you move the slider to the left, the relevant resistance is reduced as shown because the length is only up to here. So again, the current will flow through here but and will flow through to here. Instead of going all the way, it will immerse sliders over here. It will actually go up and flow along here. And take note that this is actually zero resistance. This, these are just metal. So in this case, this path is no longer available. If you are shortened path, you have a reduced resistance. So that is why when the slider connects the silvery, left silvery part, the current will bypass the entire real step resistance wire of the real step. So the current will flow through here. Remember touching here, it will go all the way up here. And again, this part is no longer available. So the current will flow through here and bypass the entire real step. Thus the reason of the real step is considered to be zero. Actually if you connect point A and you connect point D okay or if you connect point B with point C okay the real step will actually work too. If you use point A and D, you have to slide left to increase the resistance. But if you use point B and C, you have to slide right to increase the resistance. Can you explain why? So that's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. 
For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.